Hi there, I'm Rebecca and a really warm welcome back to my channel, Pumpkin Becky. In this week's video, we are looking at keeping the growing season going for as long as we can and keeping the harvests coming. Let's get started. And when I talk about harvest, I don't just mean fruits and vegetables, I'm also talking about flowers. Look at the dahlias behind me, underneath the pergola. They are going great guns and we'll keep doing that right until the first frost, which is wonderful. And also, because I grow them under the pergola, they get an element of protection from frost and other inclement weather. So they tend to keep going just that little bit longer. They are in pots and that means that once the first frosts have really beaten back that foliage, I can bring them quite easily into my unheated greenhouse. That a gorgeous bunch of dahlias. I've been picking those for a couple of months now. It's absolutely been fantastic. Let's now have a closer look at the plants themselves and see what we can do to help maintain them and keep that growing season going on for as long as we can. Here we have a flower that is well and truly spent. It has done its duty. It has been a beautiful flower. Now it's time to take it off. Rather than taking it off up here, which would leave us with a very unsightly long wooden woody stem, we could take it back to the next leaf. But you can see that the piece I cut off was actually a side shoot and I had already taken the main flower. There's no more new growth happening here at this point. So if I follow that stem down to the point where there is new growth, there's, this is the next leaf node on the main stem, I could cut back to here because I've got new flowers coming, I've got new leaves coming. This is a nice healthy set up here. If it was a little earlier in the season I could come all the way back down to here where again there's nice side shoots happening and that would help me keep a more stocky plant that can tolerate winds better. This time I'm going to come in here. This is a beautiful new fresh bud waiting to open. It is button shaped, it is tight and it will start to open like this. It will just get bigger and you'll start to see the coloured flashes from the petals. By contrast if you find a flower that is this shape, like a tube, it is very definitely done. It has lost its petals and it is time to deadhead it. Hasn't flowered, has flowered. We can follow the same principle here, the hostas. I call this hosta corner. <laughs> it's the best place in the garden for them. And they seem to absolutely love it. They're all again in containers. But this time of year they're starting to look distinctly shabby. The flowers have all finished so we've got dead and dying flower spikes and some of the leaves are looking a little bit... <laughs> <laughs> 
it won't be long before these plants actually die back. So we don't want to go too hard. We're not trying to get new fresh growth to bounce up. We just want to take out the really dodgy looking stuff so that the fresher stuff has space to shine. My first target is the flower stems and I'm going to come right down, as far down as I can go. Okay, that's the flower spikes gone. Now let's look at some of the shabby looking leaves. Again, we just want to come in to the plant and come down as far as we can and carefully cut the leaf off. Just go back as far as you can, you're not trying to cut into the base of the plant itself. Just make that stem as short as you can. That looks so much better, so much fresher. The one that has remained the most magnificent is this beautiful lime green one. Look at it, it's amazing. Look how big those leaves are. This is sea thunder that I bought last year at Northern Spring Flower Festival. It's not nearly as big as it was last year. Maybe it needs a little bit of a richer compost than I gave it when I potted it on. I can look to amend that later once the foliage has died back. I can also check for any soil-borne pests. Particular issues with all potted plants are vine weevils. <laughs> Horrible beasties. This one's been magnificent. I don't know what it is, but it is the only one I have where the actual stems of the leaves are white. All the others have greenish leaves. Even the variegated ones have much more green on. Here you go, there's one of the leaves I cut off. <laughs> it's enormous. That hossa is magnificent. <laughs> you can apply those tidying methods to anything in the garden. Anything that looks a little bit frazzled after August had finished. The hostas look so much better and it's always good practice to keep deadheading dahlias so that they keep flowering. Right, that's it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to rate, share and subscribe to me here on YouTube. And until next time, bye.